Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I have another new release which is the Burberry Hero Parfum. This is the 100ml bottle and I believe you can get the 50, 100, 150 as well as the 200ml refillable bottle. And I got this directly from Burberry here in the UK for about 137 British pounds. And looking at the packaging, it's very similar to Burberry Hero Eau de Parfum. I'll put up a picture side by side so you can have a good reference. It's very similar in terms of how that white square and that brown square the outside. And the only difference is obviously that Parfum word were here. And at the back, there are some details that you can pause the screen and read if you want. At the top, it just says Burberry. And at the bottom, that's just the batch code right here in the middle. So without further ado, I'm going to open this and show you what the bottle looks like inside. So the bottle looks something like this. It's very similar design to all of the Burberry Heroes. The only difference is that this Parfum version, it's a much darker hue to the bottle. It's a very dark golden brown color and the cap has that Burberry logo. And at the top, it just says Burberry. I'm going to waste a few sprays and show you what it looks like very good spray and of course at the bottom there's just the batch coat down here so looking on Fragrantica we can see the main accords are woody aromatic and earthy and if we take a look at the note breakdown the top notes there's emeris middle notes there's cedarwood and the base notes there's cypress oil if you don't know what it is it's kind of a woody aromatic uh, earthy type of a scent so after giving Burberry Hero Parfum a good few sprays, as you can see, I've worn this fragrance for about two days now. And each time I wear this fragrance, the opening starts off a little bit weird to my nose. It starts off a little bit funky. And what I mean by that is that it has this very intense woody and amber combination. It's mainly because of that amorous note as well as a cedarwood note in the mid. Makes this fragrance a little bit too intense for the first five minutes. And sometimes I, I don't know why, I can compare this to kind of like a body odor scent. I know it's not the most appealing opening of a fragrance, but that's what I get to my nose. And it only lasts for about five minutes and then it starts to simmer down and oxidize with your skin. And it starts to turn into this kind of a sweet, aromatic, woody kind of a scent. And after about two to maybe three hours, it turns to a very warm, kind of an amber, spicy, woody scent which is quite pleasant to my nose surprisingly. And if you were to ask me if this fragrance is redundant, I would say yes. I think that the Eau de Parfum version is much more easier to wear, it's much more refined, and it's a perfect combination between the Eau de Toilette as well as the Parfum concentration. So I would say stick to the Eau de Parfum. I think that the EDP is much a better and affordable price per milliliter that you pay for. and. Personally, I would suggest you to try this fragrance before you buy a full bottle because again, it's quite pricey for what I paid for and I for that reason, I would give this fragrance a 5 out of 10 mainly because of how this fragrance opens up and also it's not really a long-lasting fragrance given that this is a parfum concentration. So the longevity and projection for this one for me, it's quite weak. I get a good maybe six to seven hours of longevity and the projection for this one is I would say it projects for about 30 minutes to an hour before it turns to a skin scent. So every now and then you might catch a few whiffs of this fragrance in the air or on your skin but that still doesn't justify the price that I paid for. So be very careful when you buy this fragrance. I would say try this one first because you might not like the opening or you might like the fragrance at all. But if you like those type of amber and woody scent, definitely catch this one because it's a quite a unique fragrance if you're into the amber and woody fragrances out there. So all in all this fragrance, I would suggest you to highly recommend you to try this one first before buying. And that's all I can say. So as usual, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.